A candidate for L.A. City Council is fighting tonight for his future in politics after a history of racist and offensive comments he posted online just came to light. Joe Braille is apologizing for what he calls the biggest mistake of his life. Tonight, KCAL Line's Peter Dowd is live in L.A.'s Mount Washington neighborhood with that story. Peter. Jeff and Susie, right now, Joe Braille has been stripped of endorsements, and many who live here in the district he wants to represent are calling him racist and transphobic, while others are defending him. At Cypress Best Burgers in Mount Washington, sizzling reaction to the controversy involving LA City Council candidate Joe Braille. Yeah, that's wrong. That's definitely wrong. Braille canceled his meet and greet Thursday night amid backlash over comments he posted online in which he used a racial slur and disparaged transgender and obese people. The postings have been taken down, but were brought to light by LA IST. Bray Ali admits he authored the comments a little more than a year ago in an online forum called VOAT. In one discussion thread, he wrote, The dark-skinned people in this image are not Africans, except in the most sweeping historical sense that we are all Africans. Seems to disqualify a group as the N-word to me, but I am not an expert. He also mocked overweight people and wrote that gender reassignment surgery should not be praised, but criticized as shameful excess. Braille Lee offered this apology. This is what I apologize for. I apologize for engaging in uh, the, the cesspool of the internet. The 38-year-old Indian American businessman is locked at a heated battle with incumbent councilman Gil Cedillo for LA's District 1. Cedillo condemned the comments. He should drop out. Yes, he should. I also didn't recall everything I posted online. Braille Lee also tried to explain himself in a YouTube video calling his comments the biggest mistake of his life. His friend Carrie Thorne, a trans woman, is defending him. This is a man who's willing to learn. Okay, he's willing to learn, and he knows when he's made a mistake. And for the first time in recent memory, the LA Times revoked its endorsement of a candidate. But Bray Ali is refusing to give up, and when asked if he's a racist or a bigot... You know, that's a hard question to answer. It's like, when did you stop beating your wife? Um, I've lived a life that I think is very clearly shown that those aren't things that I believe in, those aren't values that I believe in. Councilmember Mitch O'Farrell also rescinded his support today for Bray Ali after originally standing by him. The election is on May 16th. Jeff and Susie. Peter Dow reporting live for us tonight.